Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. My name is Tom. So this week I worked on these two uh, shoe storage racks. They're made to look like apple crates. They're made out of uh, some pallet wood and also I got a little help from some 2x4s just to fill in this slat material. The dimensions are 2 feet high by 3 feet long by about 15 inches deep and they're made to go into a closet and hold a lot of shoes. If you're interested in seeing how I built this, stick around and watch the video. Okay, everybody voted for narration, so here comes some narration. First I'm rough cutting the pallet wood to uh, the rough length. So here's a nice stack of that unfinished rough cut pallet wood here. And I'm also, at the same time here, I'm cutting these slats for the apple crates. I supplemented my pallet wood with some 2x4s that I had laying around. Uh, they're the same thickness, or the same width, I guess I should say. And so they're going to make the same size slats. I ripped these down to 3 eighths of an inch. You can see me taking that out of a pallet runner right there. And the uh, wood that I'm going to be using for the sides um, is rough cut pallet wood and it starts out at about an inch thick. And so I just take a little off of each side until I get two parallel faces. I don't bother with the jointer because uh, some of these boards are a little too wide um, to run on the jointer anyway. Once I got them to the right thickness, which I believe was three quarters of an inch, I run an edge of each board through the jointer to give myself a nice flat, clean surface for gluing so I can glue up these panels. As you can see, I'm using, with permission, the uh, customer's workbench uh, that I had just previously made. And so I'm laying down the tape because I don't want to get any glue on my customer's workbench. I'll let them uh, tear it up and get it filthy any way that they please. And so once the glue is dry, I uh, remove the clamps. You see I kind of use these tape covered pieces of wood as calls to try to help keep it flat. And when I pull these um, finished panels away, you'll also see that I switched from using blue tape to using regular packing tape because the glue wanted to stick to the blue tape still and uh, I didn't like that because it wanted, made them want to stick to the table. So now I'm jointing one edge of each panel and that will help me make a nice straight cut on my table saw later on. So I take that jointed edge and I take the table saw and put it at 15 inches which is my final dimension and I run the jointed edge along the fence and I cut my boards down to final width and I immediately go to my chop saw and cut them to final length and I have to flip them over to get the full cut because the depth of cut or the the range or capacity or whatever you want to call it of the saw is only about 12 inches since these are 15 inches I had to flip them over to get that remaining few inches. And now um, I'm getting ready to put them all together. Off camera I made these little support brackets here just by cutting, ripping down a, a 2x4 on a 45 degree angle. And so I'm applying those braces first and marking where the center brace goes. And then I start applying my slats, trying to make sure they're evenly spaced just for aesthetic reasons. So I start with the easy ones that I can lay down on the tabletop on all the corners. And 
and then I just glue and nail down each of the individual slats trying to keep the spacing as even as I possibly can. And then for the middle shelf, I add my slats to the set of braces that I have previously attached, and then I finish it all off with the second set of braces on top of them. And now I'm just uh, knocking off all the sharp edges on this piece so they are comfortable to move and grab and slide around and so they won't gouge any of the shoes or anything that will be stored inside them. So the, only thing, so the only thing you didn't see in this video was me applying the finish and all I did was I put a, an early American stain on the wood. Um, it was fairly straightforward, didn't really feel like there was much to show there. There's no technique being used. I used a sponge brush and just a can of Min Wax Early American. Um, that's the color that the customer wanted. Um, as you can see, they turned out pretty nice. Um, they were a lot of fun to build. It was a lot more work than I thought at first that it would take. Uh, I had to kind of manufacture my own panels for the sides. I had to cut out all the slats. I had to make the corner braces. And then just staining and getting it in all those nooks and crannies uh, ended up taking up a lot of time. But it still was a lot of fun to make. And I know that the customer that I built this for is going to enjoy it. She's already seen the pictures of it and she loves it. So thanks for sticking around and watching this video. Uh, if you like this type of thing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. I try to get new videos out once a week, sometimes more often than that. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Ha <laughs>